Okay, so good day everyone. We have here the topic forward error correction or what we call the humming code. Okay, so we, we have here the formula to determine the number of bits of your humming code. Okay, so this is the formula to raise to n must be greater than or equal equal to your m plus n plus 1 where n is your number of humming bits okay so this is the number of humming bits your n your m is the number of bits in the data string okay say for example number 1 okay so example number 1 determine the humming code of the given data okay so data string and solve the bcs of the block check sequence okay so this is your given data gx so say for example this is a 7 bit code okay or 7 bit data so it might be an ascii code okay so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? So, 7-bit code that is an ASCII code. Okay? So, say for example, this is your data GX. Okay? So, using this formula, okay? So, let, okay? So, by trial and error, let N is equals to, say for example, 3. Okay? So, 2 raised to 3 is greater than or equal M. Your M is 7, okay? So, M is the number of bits in the data string. So, your M is 7 bits. So, 7 plus your N is 3, okay? Plus 3 and then plus 1. Of course, 2 raised to 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 and that will be 8, okay? So, is 8 greater than or equal so, 7 plus 3 plus 1, so that will be 11, okay? So, 8 is not greater than, so, not, 8 is not greater than or equal to 11, so this is not applicable, okay? So, not applicable. Okay? So, not applicable. Then, we choose another value for n, Okay? So let's say our value next value is 4, okay? So value of n, we are going to find for the value of n which, which will satisfy this given formula, okay? So let n is first to 4, then 2 raised to 4 plus uh, uh, greater than or equal m is 7 plus 4 your n is 4 and plus 1. So this will be 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 1 is 12. And this is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, and that will be 16. Okay? So therefore, n is equals to 4 since 16 is greater than 12. Okay? So we use... Uh, or the number of humming, humming bits will be 4, okay? So what we're going to do is to insert the humming code, okay? To insert the humming code on your data GX, okay? Okay, so to continue our discussion, we have here the uh, data string, okay? So this is the data string, 11001110. And our humming code will, will be 4 bits, okay? So our humming code will be 4 bits, okay? So we, we already computed the number of n, okay? So the number of n is 4, okay? So the value of n is 4, okay? So let's say we have here the table. This is your bit position. Of course, 7 bits, okay? So this is a 7-bit code. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 plus 
your humming code which is 4 so that will be 11 okay so our bit position okay the highest bit position is bit 11 so write 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 Say for example, example, we insert our humming bit, okay? So let's insert our humming bit to bit position 9, okay? Example, okay? Just an example. It depends on the question, okay? So example, uh, bit position 9 is your humming bit. Bit position 6 is your humming bit, okay? So we simply insert 4 humming bits based on our previous computation okay so we have and another humming humming bits is bit position number three and another humming bits is bit position number one okay so what we are going to do is we are going to solve for the what we call your humming code okay so our humming code is four bits okay so by Again, by using the XOR gate, okay? So, take note, we simply insert all the values which has a value of a logic 1, okay? So, insert, okay? So, 1 is bit number 11, 1 is bit number 10, bit position 10, 0 to 8, 0 to 7, 1, 4, 5, 1, 4, 4, and 0, 4, 2. Okay, so bit position number 2. Okay, so take note, all bit position with 1, we will going to XOR. Okay, so bit position number 4, bit position number 4, okay, so this is bit position number 4, and 4 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0, and then bit position number 5, bit position number 5 is 1, so we have 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay? And then we XOR. Okay? So XOR. Again, XOR gate. The output is high if the inputs are different and the output is logic 0 if the inputs are the same. Okay? So 0, 1. So our answer here is 1. 0, 0 is 0. 1, 1 is 0. And 0, 0 is 0. Okay? The next, copy the XOR. Okay? So, copy. Just copy. So, 0, 0, 0, 1. The next, bit position with 1 is 10. Okay? So, bit position with 1 is 10. So, this is 10. So, 10. So, we have 0 and this is 1. This is 0 and this is 1. Okay? So, then, XOR again. XOR. 1, 0 is 1, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0, 1, 0 is 1, okay? And the next, the last bit position is bit position number 11, okay? So number 11, so 8 plus 2 plus 1, so this, therefore this is 1, 1, 0, and this is 1, okay? Then... XOR again, okay, so XOR again, 1, 1, that is 0, 1, 1, that is 0, then 1, uh, 0, 0, that is 0, and 1, 1, that will be 0, okay, so therefore, our, so therefore, our humming, humming code is 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, and then, our block check sequence will be 1, 1, humming code, 0, the next 0, the next 0, 0, 1, 1, and this is 0, and this is 0, and this is 0. Okay? So therefore, this is our block check sequence. Okay? So at the receiver, see for example, at the receiver, during transmission, an error occurs, okay? So, for example, bit position number 10 is an error bit, okay? 
So let's say bit position number 10 will become 0. Say for example, this is an error bit. So instead of 1, this will be 0. Okay? At the receiver end, this is the receiver. This is the block check sequence with error. Okay? So with error bit. With error bit. So this is 1. Instead of 1, you receive the, receive, uh, the receiver receive a 0. And then, of course, your running bit is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay? So, at the receiver end, okay? So, solving for error, the receiver will solve for error. Okay? So, bit position with error bit. Okay? So, bit position. This is your bit position. Okay? So, this is bit position. This is 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay? So, first, extract the Humming bits, okay? So, humming code, extract first the humming code. So, your humming code is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And the next, XOR them with the first bit position with 1, okay? So, XOR them with the first bit position that is 1, okay? So, bit position with 1 is 4, okay? So, 4, this is 0, 0, 1, 0. And then, XOR. So, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, and 0, 0 is 0, okay? The next, bit position, you have your bit position. This is 1, 2, 4, 8. This is your bit position. So, XOR, your XOR is... Copy your XOR. This is 0, 1, 0, 0. And the next, the next bit position is 5. So 5 is 1, 0, 1. And this is 0. Then XOR. Okay, so and then XOR. So we have 0, 0 is 0. 1, 1 is 0. 0, 0, 0 is 0. And 0, 1 is 1. Okay? The next bit position will be okay. So let's erase this one. The next bit position will be the next bit position. Okay, so just copy the XOR. So XOR 0, 0, 0, 1. And then the next bit position with 1 is 11. Okay, so 11. So 11 is. 11 is 8 plus 2. Okay, so this is 1, this is 0, this is 1, and this is 1. Okay, and then XOR, XOR again, so 1, 1, this is 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0, and 0, 1 is 1. Okay, then of course there is an error since there is a remainder okay so the remainder is 101 one, meaning this is equivalent to 8 plus equivalent to 2 so this is 10 so meaning the bit position number 10 is an error bit okay so the receiver will will correct okay so will correct the bit position Number 10, instead of 0, instead of 0, that is 1, okay? So, forward error correction is used for uh, detection and correction for your data, okay? So, forward error correction or humming code is used for error detection and correction, okay? So, I hope... You understand the discussion through this video and God bless us all.